Are you trying to lose belly fat? Well, congratulations on embarking on the journey towards good health. Experts believe belly fat is the most dangerous type of fat because it surrounds your internal organs. Excess belly fat is linked to a higher risk of early death, regardless of total body fat. It can cause several health challenges, like kidney disease, certain cancers, and cardiovascular problems. Unfortunately, losing belly fat isn't as easy. You'll need to exercise daily and revamp your diet. In today's video, we'll talk about foods you need to strictly avoid to shed those extra pounds. Let's begin the discussion. One. Chips and fries. Crispy french fries, along with a cheeseburger and soda, are my favorite comfort meal. What's yours? As delicious as they are, french fries have to be avoided if you're trying to get rid of belly fat. And no, you cannot substitute them with potato chips. They're just as bad. First of all, it's very easy to overeat french fries and chips, causing calorie overload. This mindless snacking often goes unnoticed, especially when you're glued to your TV. Both french fries and potato chips contain a good amount of fat, which sabotages your weight loss goals. A study was conducted to see the impact of potato chips. The results showed that potato chips cause more weight gain than any other food of the same serving size. Other observational studies looking at the effects of potato chips and french fries have again confirmed these findings. The results reiterated the fact that these foods do lead to obesity. Another downside of eating roasted and fried potatoes is that they contain a substance named acrylamide. This substance has been linked to cancer. 2. Sugary drinks I wish there was a way to drink as many sodas as we want without gaining any weight, but sadly, they're the first thing you need to drop while trying to lose belly fat. Beverages such as soda are sweetened with sugar. Not only is the added sugar bad for you, but the sodas end up being super high in calories. Sugary drinks have been linked to weight gain. When you drink too much of these sugary drinks, it can have a negative impact on your health. The biggest challenge with sodas is that your brain does not register those calories. This means you won't feel full even after taking in as many calories as you would with solid food. Since liquid foods don't make you feel full, you would still end up eating solid foods as usual. I don't need to tell you how disastrous that can be for your weight loss plans. So what should you drink? Is plain water the only option? Thankfully, no. You can go for kombucha or flavored water. Even coffee and tea would work as favorable substitutes for sugary drinks. Just make sure you don't top them with cream. Looking for answers on all the latest health and wellness news? Hit that subscribe button and join our millions of followers. 3. White Bread Do you love sandwiches and toast? I have some bad news. The classic white bread we all love is your enemy when you're on a weight loss diet. White bread contains a good amount of added sugar. It also has a high rating on the glycemic index. This means that when you eat white bread, your blood sugar levels also spike. That's not just us saying it. Science has the same opinion. A study was conducted among nearly 9,300 people to see the impact of white bread. Participants who ate two slices of bread every day had a 40% higher chance of weight gain that results in obesity. But this doesn't mean you have to completely stop eating bread. There are other alternatives you can try, such as Ezekiel bread. It is made using legumes and sprouted grains. Whole wheat bread is another option you can try. My personal favorite is sourdough bread, as it's easier to digest than other breads. It's made through a fermentation process that breaks down some of the carbohydrates and proteins found in grains, including gluten. Sourdough bread not only tastes good, but is also low in the glycemic index. This is due to the presence of resistant starch in sourdough, which takes a long time to digest. But if you're sensitive to gluten or have celiac disease, you need to eat sourdough bread with caution. You need to avoid any bread made with gluten-containing grains, like wheat. Flax bread and oat bread are some other variants you can try. Finding the discussion about healthy breads interesting? You can watch our video on types of healthy breads to learn more about them in detail. 4. Candy Bars No matter how tempting candy bars are, you have to stay away if you want to reduce your waist size. 
Don't let their small size mislead you. They look harmless, but candy can be pretty addictive. Before you know it, you'll end up eating a handful of candy one after the other. Ultimately, you'll end up with a calorie surplus and a spike in your blood sugar levels. All thanks to the added sugar found in candy. And all of these calories for zero nutrients. Believe me, there is no upside to candy bars except for taste. Still unsure? Consider this. Candy bars covered with chocolate have around 200 to 300 calories. To put this in perspective, you'll have to run at a 6 mile per hour pace for 27 minutes to burn 300 calories. So what should you do when you get a craving for something sweet? Well, you can still eat fruits and yogurt. They are healthier options. For those who still want to eat only candy bars, choose the smallest size and pay attention to how many you are eating. Stick to eating a piece of candy once in a while. 5. Pastries and Cookies I cannot imagine Sunday brunches without my favorite chocolate pastry. The delicate melt-in-mouth texture makes it irresistible. Sadly, pastries were one of the first things I had to cut out of my diet. They taste heavenly, but are disastrous for your waistline. Pastries and cookies come packed with empty calories, added sugars, and trans fat. All of these without any nutrition. Baked goods hide a lot of trans fat in them. Wondering why it is bad? Let me explain. Trans fat is a type of dietary fat that is considered the worst for your health. Too much trans fat in your diet increases your risk for heart disease and other health problems. Baked goods containing lots of trans fat and empty calories means you'll end up getting hungry rather quickly, even if you eat them to your heart's content. As a result, you will eat more food to satiate your hunger pains. This leads to weight gain over time. Don't be disheartened though. You can still enjoy dessert. Just choose healthier options like chia pudding and dark chocolate with a higher cocoa content. You can also munch on fruit salad and trail mix when craving something sweet. 6. Pizza I wish pizza wasn't on our list. Everyone likes pizza. But unfortunately, it is packed with calories, especially when you order from a commercial establishment. They often use processed meat and refined flour, which are not good for your overall health and waistline. If you want to eat pizza, it's best to make it at home. You would be able to control what ingredients went into your pizza. This way, you can make sure every ingredient that goes into making your pizza is healthy and nutritious. For example, you can make a thin crust pizza using whole wheat flour. Cottage cheese, bell peppers, tomatoes, mushrooms, and onions would make excellent toppings. There will be days when you'll be too tired to cook. When you have no choice but to order a pizza from a commercial establishment, Make sure you choose healthy toppings like spinach and grilled chicken. They are low in calories and loaded with nutrients. For the pizza base, choose thin crust bread. You can have a side of salad or broccoli to round out the meal. 7. Ice cream I know, it's heartbreaking. First we said no to pastries, then pizza, and now ice cream. It's like you're punishing yourself. But you have to steer clear of ice cream if you want to lose belly fat. Just like candy, ice cream is also addictive. It is loaded with empty calories and causes a massive spike in your blood sugar levels. Eating a small portion of ice cream infrequently won't be an issue. But if you enjoy a few servings of ice cream regularly, you will end up gaining a lot of weight. Luckily, there are ways to stop eating ice cream indiscriminately. First of all, you need to stop eating ice cream straight from the tub it comes in. Always take some out in a separate bowl. This way, you'll be in control of your portion size and won't end up overeating. Another way to restrict ice cream in your diet is by making your own dessert. Since you're in control of the ingredients, you can switch to healthier options like dates, bananas, and dark chocolate. Add frozen yogurt and fruits, like blueberries and strawberries, to make your homemade ice cream nutritious. Looking for some more ideas? Well, you can try your hands at banana and peanut butter ice cream. My personal favorite is instant frozen berry yogurt. 8. Certain Alcohols So many of us love relaxing at the end of the day with a glass of wine in hand. As long as it's just one glass of red wine, you're okay. But chugging beer, whiskey, or vodka won't do you any favors. Instead, you'll experience an expanding waistline. You'll be surprised to know that alcohol is full of calories and leads you to make poor food choices. 
it's best to forego alcohol altogether when trying to lose weight. But if you must imbibe, opt for certain alcoholic beverages over others. You can help yourself to a glass of red wine or light beer once in a while. Dry vermouth and champagne aren't too bad either. But frozen beach drinks, sugary cocktails, and craft beer are an absolute no. The type of alcohol you choose will ultimately have a lasting impact on your waistline. 9. Supermarket Fruit Juices Fruit juices that you make from whole fruits can be nutritious and healthy, but not all of us have the time or inclination to make fruit juice from scratch. So we buy packet juices from the supermarket. But these juices are not similar to what you would get if you made them on your own. Some of the packaged juices come with as many calories and added sugar as you would get in soda. Ideally, we would recommend you eat whole fruits instead of juicing them, even if you do that at home. That's because whole fruits give you fiber, which keeps you full for longer. You will not get the same sense of satiety that you would get from a whole fruit. As a result, you might end up drinking more juice than necessary. This just increases the amount of calories you take in a short period of time. Losing weight isn't a cakewalk, but it isn't impossible either. Interested in knowing more about weight loss facts? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Watch 12 Diet Mistakes to Avoid When You're Trying to Lose Weight, or How Much Water Should You Drink to Lose Weight? Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn more about healthy weight loss. Are you trying to lose belly fat? Let us know in the comments below.